This is code.org, and this is yet another round of filtering. And I'm actually going to jump in, and I want to point out that the if you are confused about the test or code answers down here they provided, they are incorrect. This is not the correct answers to this, right? So, for example, I can prove one right here. This is Thriller. This is the years they listed. Davion's not on this list. Panic Room's first. Right. So I'll go through these at the end, but I want to point out right from the jump that if you're frustrated with these, these aren't actually the correct ones. With that being said, let's dive into this app. So Joe and Destiny are extremely pleased with our initial genre filter, as they should be. It rocks. As they showed their app prototype to some of their potential users, I'm sorry, there are potential users. We built this. Where's our money? I'm just saying it is our app. I'm not kidding. It's our app. Hey, they got one piece of feedback that they felt it was important to address. Okay, good luck, guys, or it's our app and we can fix it. Anyways, here's the user story, slightly better. Um, that being said, I wanna dive right to the code aspects of this. Hey guys, this one's confusing. And I'm the teacher and I think it's confusing. So heads up there, create filter by release. What this whole thing is asking is we need to filter by the year a movie is released. How we're gonna go about doing that is annoyingly complex and shouldn't be, but it is what it is, all right? The return data will be saved. So this is the standard stuff. We have this filter movie value list. We're gonna save our movies into a list. Cool. The year index variable is set when the cycle Y value function is called. What? You might be wondering, but why? Uh, why? Why would the cycle Y value have anything to do with the year index? Which is a great question, because it's exactly what I wondered. So let's go ahead and head down to the uh, filtered index values right here. Empty. Cool. We have an empty list. Got it. Uh, this return data will be saved to filter movie values list. So our method, filter by release, let's head down to that, is here, filter by release, and it is going to return some value that is that will be saved into the filter movie value list. So let's see where a filter by release is called. It is called, oh, I think that was it. Nope. Right here, filter by release is called right here. Now make sure guys, by the way, that you have filtered index values. This we gotta get here, right? So this is gonna be the parameter. Uh, this is gonna be our argument. I don't like that they say the parameter values list. This is. They can be used interchangeable. This is actually the argument, whereas filter by release, uh, the parameter here is list. Regardless, that's what we're going to be passing. Now, once I go back up here, what do they want us to do? You'll see they want us to sort things by the year. So uh, use the value of this variable to create a conditional statement that checks Netflix year for each index that is stored in the filter values. If it is a match, save the title of the movie into the temp list. And so what they would like us to get out of that is that if the year index is zero, that means they want a movie before 1900. If it's one, they want a movie in these time frames. If it's two, this time frame, three, this time frame, four. You might be wondering why, and that's where this comes in. I want to explain why, because it's confusing. Cycle Y values. The reason we have some value for the year index that we're using, instead of just the years themselves, for instance, is because at some point it was decided, I'm going to click on this thing, and you don't want to do this, it's going to be annoying to fix, so... I'm going to zero out 145. I'm going to click on this thing and I'm going to zero out 320. Here's our years. So the years are actually an image that we're moving up and down to show to the user. And so that is why we have all of these kind of confusing and by kind of confusing, I mean confusing values that we're dealing with. So that's what's happening here. They're actually moving this around the image up and down on its y-axis to show a year. That index value is what's being used to multiply by 36 pixels. 36 pixels is the size of each like area, each chunk of text for each year. 
Regardless of all that, what you need to know is that if it is zero, it, they want a movie before 1900. So let's throw down a conditional and try not to overthink this because it's really hard not to. <laughs> all right. So if year, oh, why am I not typing? Year index is equal to zero. And what am I saying there? Ah, well, if your index is equal to zero, I want a movie before 1900, 1900, 1990. So if your index is equal to zero, I'm going to need a movie before 1900. However, how am I filtering or looping? We need to be looping. So, whoop, obviously, I'm not just going to filter through one item of the list. I need a loop. Boom. Boom. Okay. Now, let's talk about what this list is actually. What gets passed? And this is where it gets even more confusing. What is getting passed? Filtered index values. Filter by release. Filtered index values. What was filtered index values? Filtered index values was the result of filter by genre. Filter by genre returns a list of indexes that were matches. So if I go over here to genres, nope. Well, I mean, that would probably work too, but yeah. If I go over here to Netflix and then notice all these genres, right? We filtered these. <laughs> oh. We filtered these and what we did is we looped through and we looked for anything that was, for now, it would be an action movie. And we grabbed all the things that were action genre and we saved the index value to a list. And what that means is, say this was action. So our list would now have the index of zero in it because lists are indexed at zero. So it's the first item, right? But it's index zero. Now, this is the sixth item, so this would be an index five. Let's pretend like this is action as well. So we need to save this. Now our list has index zero and index five. The reason we did that is so we can now come back and use other information. So say we also have a list of titles. Well, if I know index five, well, now I can say, okay, index five is bedtime stories. So in that list, I can print out bedtime stories because I know it's at index five. So we saved the location of matches of genre. All right. So now we have this list of numbers. This is going to be a list of numbers, a list of indexes. I wanted to note that because this is also going to be frustrating. So I'm going to call this current movie index. And I'm going to set it equal to list I. What is I? I is the current place we are in our list. Now, my loop's bad here. I need to make sure my loop never goes past the end of my list. So I'm going to go list.length. And that way, I make sure my loop is always going to work. Otherwise, I, and keep in mind what a for loop does, I is equal to zero. I must always be less than the length of however many items that are in this list. I goes up by one each time. Everything in this mouth keeps looping. So the first item will be index zero if that was a match. We now want to check the year of that movie. So we know it's index zero. So now in our data right here, we would say index zero. Oh, wait, that is not less than 1990. So this would not be a match and we would not continue to, we would not add that one to our list. So I'm going to switch to text mode. And so again, now I know I need to check the year. So and 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 what that value is, guys, by the way, where did we save the years for all of these columns? Netflix year. So, and, and, Netflix year. And keep in mind, you can name variables whatever you want. Maybe you just named this index. I just wanted to be more clear. And, and, Netflix year, current year index. So whatever the current movie index, Netflix year, whatever that movie is, if it is less... Or do they say before 1900? They don't say less than or equal to, but I noticed this starts at 91. So I'm going to say less than or equal to 19, and by 1900, I mean 1990. Then what do I want to do? Well, then I want to append item to my list. What did they give us? They gave us temp list Netflix title index. 
And how do I know I want to append the title, right? We're not just saving the numbers anymore. Well, they state it right here that add the title of the movie to the temp list. And let's for remember, oh no, they already provided that. So I'm going to do this for all the other spans of time. I'm going to hammer that out and then I will talk about it. All right. Oh, that's going to be super hard to read, guys. I'm going to talk about this. These I find frustrating, let's be honest. So if um, we already did up to uh, less than or equal to 1990. Now, the next item is if the year index is 1, I know that time frame is 91 to 1999. And you can click and see, right? So if that's the time frame, if year index is 1, that's the time frame. So now I'm going to check the Netflix year list, the current movie index that I have that I'm getting from the list we passed. If that year is greater than or equal to 1991, and it must be less than or equal to 99, we know that's the year we're, that's a movie we're looking for, and we add that title to the list. Now, keep in mind, this is going to loop through all of the movies or all the indexes we have in our list. And so while it's on 1991 to 99, every time, the only item it's going to add are movies in that range. And so it will first check this if year index is zero. Well, this would be false immediately. Our year index must be one because this is our range right now. So that's false. It goes down here. Is year index one? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Now it says, all right, well, what movie are we looking at? And let's say we're looking at index two. And so if I go over to our data, index two, which would be item three, is 2014. Is 2014 between 90, 91 and 99? No, it is not. So now that's false and it doesn't add it. Now let's say we get, uh, I don't know here, whatever, index uh, 99, yikes. I saw one. Yep, okay, great. Let's say we get index 54. Well, that would be true and we add that title. Okay, so on and so forth. And at the end, we'll have a complete list of movies. Whew. All right, let's see. Let's test this out. This time, there is a watcher. I would hope so, because this is a lot. Let me hit reset and run, and let's do this. All right, thriller. Okay, fine, thriller. 2005. And go. Hmm, let me reset this. Okay, I think I've figured out what's going on. They're wrong here. So our code is decent. It works. And I want to prove this. Let me pull this back up. Let me hit run again. Okay. And so right now we're going to look, I'm going to do an adventure 2006 to 2015. Adventure 2006, 2015. Cool. And let me hit go. I have 41 movies. The first one's The Book of Eli. However, they say the first movie should be 14 minutes from Earth. Okay, well, let me go over to the data. Adventure 2006 to 2015. And now I'm just going to control find 14 minutes from Earth. Okay, what date was that released? 2016, not between 2015. What genre is that? Documentaries. That makes no sense. I am wrath. Let's do that. I am Wrath. So we're looking for an adventure 20, 2006 to 2015. What year was this released? 2016. This one's at least an adventure, but that one doesn't fit either. Okay. Now let's do 2005 Thriller. Davion. Davion. When was it released? 2017, and it's not a thriller. So somehow they got their answer key here out of whack it appears so let me go ahead and go back to mine and mine list the book of eli for adventures 2006 to 2015 we head over to the data book of eli let's see here adventure what year was it least 2010 well that makes sense and if i go through mine right uh jericho Oh, it's multiple pages, so I'm not going to do the last one because there's too many of them. But let me just do Olympus Has Fallen to prove my point. There we are. That falls within the year and is the right genre. I'll do one more just for good measure. 
drama to present, they say beneath the leaves. Beneath the leaves, independent movie thriller. It's not a drama. Let's see the year it was released. Well, at least it meets that. So again, these are off. Let's see. Let's look for this guy. This was released. Hey, that was before 1990. Oh, and that one actually fits. So that one's right. But these other ones, guys, are way off. So just be careful with them. This would be the correct for adventure. Let me go to thriller. These are the correct ones for a thriller from 2000 to 2005. This is, oh, drama. These are the correct ones for drama. And musical. I think they got that one right. Let's see what I got wrong there. Ah, uh, this definitely shouldn't be indexed. I mixed those up. I don't know when that happened. This should be current movie. Let's do that again. There we go. Looks like they got that one right. So that's really confusing, but now you know what it should actually look like. All right, I'm excited to finish this app on Words.